We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Javon Baker, wide receiver in the 2024 NFL Draft class. Huge fan of his game. I think he's going to be better than a lot of people think. Uh, this route is absolutely disgusting from Baker. This is the stuff I want to see. We start with, you know, some of the All-22 here. But really, uh, we'll have to look at the broadcast. Otherwise, my channel will get sent to the shadow realm if I show too much All-22. But, uh, yeah, just this route is so disgusting. This is the stuff I wanted to see from his film because a lot of his film is him just uh, working down the field on some vertical routes. That's, like, what he was asked to do. And I think that's an important distinction when it comes to scouting is – what can a player can and can't do and sometimes people think a player can't do something because they weren't asked to but you have to find like the little details and i think with the, the little route examples of like this and just his like release package and movement skills on the vertical routes you could tell that he had some route running prowess and you get to see it on this play specifically uh he's got some suddenness to his game some explosiveness he knows how to attack leverage get this guy to open up his hips then attack inside work into his blind spot sink those hips violently to change directions to the outside create all that natural separation i feel like you know he's dominant on a vertical plane he gets like great body control makes a lot of contest catches as you'll see throughout this video but having routes like this makes me feel really good about his uh his translation to the next level i kind of think he could have like a dontavian wicks type rookie season as well where uh He's a better route runner, creates more separation than you would think, but also makes some plays down the field. I think Baker can be that kind of player that goes in like the middle rounds uh, in a deep wide receiver class. And this is just an absolutely disgusting route. And then we'll see most of the rest of this film is just him working vertically down the field. And we'll you know show that from the broadcast angle, making great plays, his elite body control. But had to show this playoff just to show like how insane he can be as a route runner. And he got to show a little bit of it at the senior bowl as well. So... I like how uh, his skill set overall translates to the next level. Starting to look at Baker here. Going to see him uh, work vertically. He does a really good job of uh, attacking the ball. His body control in the air is really, really good. Um, I like that he gives a little bit something in that vertical stem here. Gives a little stab to the inside. Dip that shoulder underneath. As you can see right here, look. Dip that shoulder. I like how he reduces the surface area. You dip that shoulder, you avoid the hands from the corner, and it makes it very difficult. You don't want them to get your hands in that chest, so that shows some nice nuance there. And you kind of rip through it, get on the stem there, and he does a good job of creating late separation with his a little bit of a subtle shove there, but not fully extended, and then great body control. He tracks the ball really well. I feel like body control might be his best trait. When he's in the air, he has really, really good in-air athleticism. That's a high-end play. It's a lot of an example of that. He does a lot of fade work down in the end zone. He makes a good, he does a really good job of timing this stuff too. Attacking the ball at the perfect height, like attacking at its highest point. Uh, he's got the vertical hops. Get that one foot in a mound as a touchdown in college. He's got some good situational awareness. Now at the bottom of the screen, uh, I get to see him work down the field on, on like this vertical route. And just another example of him making a play. Um, that's a, not a perfectly accurate pass. He has to adjust back shoulder. He gets over the top of his the corner here. He tracks it in well. Extend it away. And look at him track. His eyes are all the way through to the ball. That is just exceptional work. I love watching him work uh, downfield on a vertical plane. He just does a really good job with that. You can see like the subtleties in his routes too. Down here at the bottom gives like a, a nice uh, pace variation. He starts to slow down his pace. Makes it look like he might break. Then give a light, nice little nod to the inside, which allows him to eat up that cushion and then uh, make a nice play down the field. So I think he can be a nice vertical threat, play outside. I always think there's some, you know, versatility to play some inside to his game. He's got some, you know, obviously some good height and is really going to get a lot of work on that vertical plane, just getting over the top, winning pretty nicely. Like he doesn't even have to just make an adjustment on these all the time too, where he has to go up and attack it. Sometimes he can just beat guys down the field. Uh, I like the late hands here. This is what I really like about these routes. He's got some nuance to his game. He's in the hip pocket. He's tracking this all the way through with the corner, but isn't doesn't show his hands till right there, which and he doesn't like get super uh, extended with them either. So the corner is just too late to react, and he's able to make that play in the back of the end zone. So much uh, good work right here. We got Baker working out of the slot and just pure speed to beat his guy down the field. Like doesn't even do too anything too crazy in his routes. Now I feel like he's got some more athleticism, more juice than you expect. Uh, yeah, he plays for UCF. He's transferred from Alabama. You know, they have so many guys there. So, like, clearly had the talent coming out of high school to get onto Alabama and uh, just gets to show off that big playability more at UCF, being that main guy. And he uh, definitely really showed out getting to work vertically. And I just want to see him in an offense where at the NFL they allow him to really 
work the full route tree because I think he's capable of doing it. And that's why I think he's going to be better than people think because they look a lot of people will watch the film with him or whatever they end up watching. You know, this is like some clips from a highlight film. I ended up, you know, I did watch all the all 22 film too as well. Uh, these are just kind of a clips to showcase his skill set that I wanted to show on here. Uh, but yeah, because I can't show the all 22. But this, seeing all of this, uh, you can definitely understand why some people might think, oh, Ber Baker is more of just a vertical threat. But if you really dig deeper, I think he can be more than that. This is just what he was asked to do at UCF is just work that vertical. I love how much uh, separation he's able to create here. Uh, the ball is just underthrown. He still has to make a tough catch. This is what I love about this play. It's one of my favorite plays he had, actually, where he um, slow plays this, some slow pace hard attack to the inside this guy's bailing out like they're in cover three get this guy to overcommit and then boom sink those hips and get out vertically the ball is just out late and a little bit behind him so he has all this natural separation but with the under throw and the late throw he still has to make a tough contested catch go up attack it body control in a contested situation and make that so he shows off the route running skills to create separation but then still make the tough play down the field so much good to like out of it uh here baker at the bottom little hesitation there as well and now he's getting on top of him and you can see look at him stack this corner now he's on the top of him he stacked him got back to the outside that's exactly what you want to do and puts the corner in a very tough spot and now you can use your body to basically box him out be like a basketball player to make the play um vertically down the field at the catch point go up um attack it really good stuff here baker at the bottom working a slant this is what more stuff that i want to see more of the full route tree because everything we've seen it's just been like Either a fade, uh, you know, uh, go route, a little hesitation, double move, go route, whatever it is. Here you can see him work the slant. Gives a first stab to the inside, which I kind of like here. He stabs to the inside because a lot of times that first move you give is just a fake. So a lot of guys don't react. So that first move is to the inside. And then he gives a little bit of a, uh, a couple steps. Hard attack the outside. Get this guy to open up his hips. And then boom, break to the inside. Create separation. Ball isn't perfectly thrown. So he has to fully extend. Catch it away from his frame. And then still stop on a dime out of this. And like he's off his feet here. The ball's thrown super high. So he's off his feet. Not on the ground at all. And for him to catch that and then anticipate. I love seeing people transition at, right after the catch. That he's able to anticipate. Boom. Transition after the catch. And then get to the outside. And pick up, you know, 10-ish extra yards. That is some great, great work. Um, this is another example of I just like to see some of the fluidity. Uh, nothing too crazy here in the route, Sam. No one's really guarding him. He just gets into a slant route, catches it, and he's like instantly transitions into a runner after the catch, and he knows feels where the guys are and just instantly gets into space. And I like how he does it so quickly. He's able to just boom, two feet, change direction, get back to the outside. Love the explosive big play ability that Baker is able to showcase, whether it's just him working vertically down the field or make some plays after the catch. I feel like he's a very well-rounded player. And he's a guy that I just see kind of just because he doesn't like other than body control. I don't know if he has any like super elite traits. And I feel like uh, people will still have questions about the route running skills just because he didn't get to run the full route tree. I feel like he's going to go a little bit later than he probably should. He just feels like that type of player. And just with the deep wide receiver class, I think he's going to be an absolute steal for whoever ends up taking him. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.